Governor of the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, Timothy Entwine, made an impassioned plea to regional governments and leaders to change the focus when it comes to the school's curriculum. Citing the rising level of youth unemployment within the region, Antoine says the reason for this is their lack of skills. A former permanent secretary in the Ministry of Finance and the son of an avid retired educator, Antoine believes too much emphasis is placed on the accumulation of CXE subjects rather than on skilled areas. He was at the time addressing a forum according to an excerpt on St. Kitts and Nevis Rhythm. I am deeply concerned about our obsession with subjects rather than skills. I find it <laughs> difficult to accept that we could go on and on for bragging rights about who gets the most subjects in our schools and not worry about how we connect them with the labor market and what these children are going to do. These children are going bright as they are when they finish school. Because what I see before me is rising unemployment, especially amongst our youth. In many of our countries, the youth unemployment rate is double the national average. He identified some skilled areas such as masonry and plumbing that he sees as lacking. When you look at the, 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 the skills required for the 21st century, there, there are skills in the area of emotional intelligence, the soft ones. Then there is coding and there is uh, cognitive reasoning. And those are not skills that are being sufficiently addressed in our school system. And what is bothersome is that not only are we setting up our children for frustration, but when you look at the region, the average spend on education is actually above the average in developing countries. But the issue is really where are we channeling those resources? Governor Antoine had a few recommendations, which involves stakeholders, the private sector, civil society, economists, and the youth. Listen, we have a chance as a region to leapfrog, to make a quantum leap in terms of our development. But it's going to have to be skills. We're going to have to change the dynamic with respect to skills. And it starts with a conversation. You can't leave skill development to education and educators. And I say that with due respect, my mom, my dear, but a master teacher, principal, I have great respect for educators. But he who knows any, only education does not know education. In the same way that he who only knows economics does not know economics. You have to have an interdisciplinary approach where you bring others to the table. And a lot of that discussion really requires that we bring industry together. Christina John, GBN News.